Oh, uh, uh, really? No. Do it. No. Do it. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm wondering where we're going with this. How do other musicians even talk to you? Why are we in black? What kind of show is this? You're totally inspiring. I got hotel keys in every pocket. This was a Beachcombers episode. You ripped this off. <laughs> you are watching Stripped Down. You are watching Stripped Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase. The show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room for over 100 episodes now. Welcome back. Here it is, 2011, the first show of 2011. Huge hello to all of the people watching out on Shaw TV and Access Communication. We've got a big show tonight. It's going to be fun. It's going to be big, as I said. Tonight on Stripped Down, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike and Allie. You're watching the first strip down of 2011. Mike and Allie here on Shaw TV. Oh, that's going to cause problems. I tried to move your mic and it fell. But anyways, <laughs> here we are. First show. You yeah. guys excited? Definitely. Yes. It was actually Mike and Allie and friends. Yes. 
because you kind of beefed up the lineup here for Stripped Out. So I'm guessing you're Mike. Yeah. I'm guessing you're Allie. Yes. Yes. Uh, you want to do a quick hello to the other band members who aren't actually Miked. So right. who, who, who's playing alongside you guys tonight? We've got Amanda playing violin for us over here. And we've got Devin throwing out the beats in the back. Devin? Yeah. He's kind of a hard guy to see. But we, the, the best part and the worst part about the show is we do it inside a box that's like six by seven feet. So we have to, we have to get really close. And it's, it's hard getting all the... Ca it is. And you guys brought your own set. And that is something we love here at Strip Down. Yeah. So what's the, what's the feel? What's the vibe of the band? I mean, we've got a you know, trumpet yeah. hanging in a frame and a trombone. This is the inspiration of our basement jam space. So okay. we basically pulled it off the walls, off the roofs, and off the rafters, and brought it into the studio. Threw it up. It was awesome. Yeah. It looks good. I really enjoy when bands kind of try to make the set their own. We've, we've been told that it looks like there's like a cage match going on when people don't bring <laughs> stuff, so I don't know if that's a compliment or a diss. What do we need to know about Mike and Allie? You guys formed yeah. in January, I understand. I don't know yeah. if it was last January, two Januarys ago, but it was a cold January night, and here we are again, <laughs> again. a cold January night. It was probably <laughs> a year ago tonight yeah? sort of thing. Wow. Pretty yeah. close to, yeah. yeah. So one year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that we've been like sort of calling ourselves Mike and Allie and playing around. Yeah, Saskatoon. We've but played different venues and stuff like that before, solo and stuff like that. And what ended up happening was, Ali sent me a song one night of, of someone who that had recorded her, but I didn't know this at the time. And she goes, I just said what? someone recorded this. Check it out. Yeah. And so I listened to it. and I was like, Wow, who's this girl singing? I'm like, She's got the most amazing voice. I'm like, Is she single? <laughs> and then she's like, No, no, this is. That was me. My friend recorded me, and I was like, oh. It was really oh. awkward. Yeah. So it's kind of awkward. <laughs> and then I was like, Well, are, 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 are you single? <laughs> So, so it ended up, we're like, well, let's make music together. Yeah. Uh, Collaboration. Yeah, yeah, started from there. Okay, and did it grow from there? Or were these guys uh, on from the beginning? Or, no, we got some, we got yeah. some head shaking, no? <laughs> yeah, well, what ended up happening is I knew Devin way back in the day. We played in a group together for a couple years. I bet you it didn't sound like this, though. No, it was a lot it was, different. But we'll actually yeah. do a couple, uh, couple tunes from that. Nice. Um, a little bit tonight. And uh, Amanda, we met actually at Nest Creek. Nice. Yeah, we were... Uh, just Jamming. playing music, yeah. rainy days under the tarps, yeah. and she wandered in with a violin and we said, come join us. And there it is. And it, it was born. That's so the last 12 months, things have been good, things have been growing. Really, really well yeah. for us, actually. We did, we just play a lot of like open mics and coffee houses, and then we mm -hmm. got a call to, to play for, um, for Saskatoon Speaks. There was a, a reception after, and Peter Mansbridge was there, so that was like, for me, that was really exciting. <laughs> so Peter wow. Mansbridge heard us, I don't know. Did you guys get to hang out after? No, he, he actually Did left. he have requests? He didn't. He no. didn't. No. Actually, no, he, he was schmoozing. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. yeah, he's yeah. shorter than you'd think. He didn't throw up the horns or anything? No, no? but he did, he did give a little hello because he's, I, you know, smiled at him and obviously. Yeah. He did thank yeah. us for yeah. the music. <laughs> and then he was, was and then, yeah. he, then he was like, yeah. are, you, are you single? <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to keep using that joke all night. Yeah, so full name Allison. Yes. You go by Ali on stage, or just Allison, Ali. Yeah, whatever. it just it. Mike and Allison doesn't. Mike and Ali works a little better. Yeah. It's easier to remember too. Yeah. Nice. Uh, young man, instrumental, getting you on the show, Mr. Matthew Prefontaine, a coworker of mine, the Pref, right here at Shaw TV. Always looking for new bands, always looking for new acts, and uh, mutual friends. He came yeah. up and said, "Hey, I've got this awesome duo, which might be a trio or a whatever a four, quartet. <laughs> quartet, yeah, <laughs> quartet. Uh, you should have them on." And things fell into place real quickly, and here we are. Are you, are you honored? First spot, first show of 2011? Honored, for yeah, sure. Definitely. We really, really are. It's really exciting for us. Yeah. Nice. We'll talk all about uh, discography, how much music you have, how much music you're writing, if you got a disco or anything. But uh, let's start with the first song you kicked the night off with. What was it? Reckless. And what is Reckless okay. about? Um, <laughs> this is the first time I'm hearing this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. This, yeah. uh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, <laughs> Reckless, <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just about, uh, I wrote it about a friend of mine that, uh, you know, it, I don't know, it's just kind of about a friendship that, that she was a little bit reckless, and, but we're still friends and it's great. I don't know, it's, it's kind of one of those things you think of a word and then you build a song around it, so that's how it worked for me, but based on a friendship, so. Nice. It, it, I keep yeah. thinking there's like something wrong, but it's actually your fake fireplace. It's making a <laughs> yeah. really digital crackling noise. I don't know if mics are picking that up or not, but I, I keep waiting for like the director Jay to run in here and shut it down because we're getting a weird noise, but that's actually from your... From your fireplace. fake fireplace. <laughs> that's yeah. part of your basement setup when you guys uh, yeah, got the fireplace and the, yeah. the hanging right. instruments. That's cool. 
Yeah. It actually pretty produces cool heat. It's that old. Really? That the bulb actually kind of <laughs> just produces heat. It's not supposed to, but it does. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm excited. We're going to get to know Mike and Allie over the next probably 55 minutes now, 54, 53 minutes. So uh, let's jump into another song before our first commercial break. Right reckless kicked it off about your friend who may or may not be reckless. <laughs> uh, so what's next? Song number two. This one is called This Life. This Life. Yeah. It's one of Mike's tunes. Okay, Mike's sorry, yeah, you're going to have to just, I'll just, just, just that really quick. Sorry. <laughs> That's why they don't let me touch this stuff. But there you go. All right, Mike and Allie, song two. Watching Strip Down in the first show of 2011. I'm going to try this again and try not to break it. Ah, there we go. Mike and Allie here on Strip Down. And I'm going to ask after every song. So what was that last song about? It's about this life. <laughs> in general. In general. Like, <laughs> this life. Dot, dot, yeah. dot, dot. <laughs> no, I actually uh, studied uh, for adventure tourism. And so I spent a lot of time climbing mountains, ice climbing, rock climbing, all that kind of stuff. And Sorry, you studied for adventure tourism. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so adventure tourism is a, a course, a course yeah. and you study by going like rock climbing and stuff? Yeah. Seems rock like everybody should probably take that course. I think everyone <laughs> should. It's pretty fantastic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry to um, derail your story, but that no, just but it struck just, me odd. Yeah, it was just pretty inspiring, you know, being up in the peaks of mountains and on the side of rock and ice. And um, there's a lot of reference to that and getting the fresh air and getting outside and just enjoying life. Nice. Well, we're gearing up for our first commercial break, but see, this is what I want to know. I want to know how two independent you know, uh, singles artists come together and who writes, who, who, what's going on there. So we'll talk about that after the first commercial break. So stick around. we got lots more with Mike and Allie coming up and Strip Down right after this.
The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Mother's Music. Six seventeen Eighth Street East, Saskatoon, on the web at mothersmusic.com. Altimo Euromoto. Two hundred four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon. Six six four sixty six forty. The word spreads around and round, so we go catapult into your town. All day we're about to take the rhythm up and away, and leave the critics up with nothing to say. The word spreads around and round. And we're back. You're watching Strip Down with Mike and Allie. Here it is, the first show of 2011. And now is the time we turn the canvas around and we talk to Strip Down's own audio engineer, Mr. Bennett Dobney. Ben, how are you doing, buddy? Doing. Welcome back. Yeah, it's good to be back, Curtis. It's, Thanks. It's weird when we take breaks from Strip Down. It's really weird. Yeah, you know, it's like it's weird not seeing you guys. It's so awesome that everybody's back. We've got a full crew tonight. Ben Dobney, it's sounding amazing. How is Christmas? How is New Year's? Christmas and New Year's was really great. I was traveling around and had a great time uh, out in Costa Rica. Swell, swell place. To yeah, be. that's not fair. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. But uh, any uh, Christmas traditions in the uh, Dobney house? Well, basically broke all of them this year. Okay, yeah, yeah I guess having eh? Christmas out there, so that was good. So you're Especially usually you're usually here around the uh, holidays, though. It's been pretty consistent, but it it, it, all, it all depends. See, you're just such an like audio focused, head in the game guy all the time. Yeah. I just give, give us a really brief outline of what Christmas in the Dobney house is usually like when you're not tour in the globe uh, probably lots of music lots of well in a sense not a whole yeah. lot of playing a lot of listening like uh, regardless of how music oriented my I am my family really isn't as much whatsoever actually so it's a bit different that way no oh, yeah so yeah. you're probably kind of like the Christmas DJ I kind of imagine yeah, yeah. kind of keep the, <laughs> keep the tunes going yeah, anyways welcome happens. back oh well, thank you Curtis happy 2011 yeah. I'm so you happy well. Strip Downs back on the air here for another year it's and good to we're be back. pushing through the fourth season. Mike and Allie, how are you guys feeling? Excellent. Yeah? yeah the pressure didn't uh, overwhelm you of being the first show of the brand new year? No, not good, at all. Good, good. <laughs> Allie was a little nervous to talk to me though. Yeah. yeah. That's a big lie. Mike called me and he's like, Allie, what should I wear tonight? I'm yeah. really, really yeah. like worried about it. I had a hard time. You, no you guys <laughs> have been one of the like funnest bands to book, to be honest. You've just been a joy yeah. from start to finish. Oh, uh, like <laughs> Traffic was really bad today. There's a little bit of snow. And like when I tell the artists to be here at like you know 6:30, mm -hmm. I expect them to be here at like 10 after 7, and you guys called at like 6:25, and we're like, oh, we're so sorry, we're gonna be five minutes late. <laughs> and I was like, you guys are awake, holy cow, <laughs> what kind of band is this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right before the break, the last song we heard was again this one. Life. Okay, now let's jump into this real quick before our next song. How does the writing process go? Again, you guys, two kind of solo careers, mm -hmm. smashed together. Did you guys bring your own music and you just add to it, or do you guys sit down and yeah. co-write now? How does that work? We kind of a mix of both. Yeah. yeah. We'll kind of bring in, I'll bring in some old songs, I'll bring in some new stuff. Ali does the same, and we just kind of collaborate and kind of turn it into a Mike and Ali sound. Okay. Um, so something a little bit different than what we used to kind of play individually. So some stuff of hers will speed up, some stuff of mine will slow down, or <laughs> vice versa. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this needs to be slower, and he's like, no, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> And then after you're happy with it, then you turn it over to the other, uh, the and friends. Yeah, yeah, and they're really good about just picking up and playing, and it just sounds really good. Yeah. All right, everything's working, everything's yeah. nice. Yeah. Mike and Allie. All right, yeah. uh, let's yeah, jump into a third song. What's uh, what's up next? Where do you go from uh, here? The next song we're going to play is called Stay. Stay? Yeah. Okay, take it away. Mike and Allie. Right try not to break it again. Whoa, there we go. Perfect. So you can no longer be the one to walk me home. I am no longer the girl who worries you're alone in the night, in the night. Thank you. 
We're spending 60 minutes with Saskatoon's own Mike and Allie. And there it goes again. <laughs> Two out of three ain't bad. It's all right. This is really the perfect show because, you know, I love the energy when we have more than one singer-songwriter. Nothing, there's anything wrong with that. You know, a lot of our shows are just one guy, one guitar, one lady, one guitar. But there's a different energy with the, uh, the group and the bands when you bring in, like, four piece yeah. quartets. So right. there's, a, there's yeah. a good energy in here. And the other good part is when there's not too much information on the uh, websites <laughs> about the band, because that makes me actually do my job, and I'm not just reading bullet notes. And you guys are kind of the epitome of not too much information. I looked you guys up, and uh, genre, acoustic for real. <laughs> That's really all I have to go on. <laughs> These so are real acoustic instruments. Acoustic for real. Any, <laughs> like, play on words, any I think it's just... just ironic. Yeah. <laughs> Irony yeah. you're going yeah, for there? So. Yeah. yeah. We just got to fill it out, just... We need, we need something on there that says, yeah. type in your genre, and we're like, uh, And there was like a red, a red star beside <laughs> yeah. it where you have to fill that out, yeah. and you're like, oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. Acoustics. Acoustics. For real. For real. All right. I actually got the singular. If you're saying acoustics, you need to go back and add an S on it. Oh, but, right. Sorry. Okay, then it said you guys are acoustic folk duo, got together by accident one snowy night in January, mm -hmm. and uh, you're into music that makes you think, makes you happy, or just plain sounds good to the ear. Yeah. At least that's yeah. what we hope for. That's sums, <laughs> is there a particular direction you're hoping, a connection you're trying to make, or just you know, playing music? There's another one, yeah, another one of those things. Like, you know, we need a bio. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time to realize <laughs> yeah. that. Um, I think we just, like, with our music, we both kind mm -hmm. of play different styles individually, and then, like, together, it's like, it's it just, works. it works, and it yeah. just, I don't know, it makes me happy to, like, play music with my friend Mike, and we just, yeah. like, it 
mesh as well, I think, are two different styles. So where's the where's the middle ground? Are you like the, the really, really like sappy girl who sings about break, breakups and you like the more <laughs> angry, <laughs> aggressive guy and you kind of find that because your stuff is beautiful, really. Like oh, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to see where the where, where you guys meet there. Kind of. Yeah. I don't think I sing about Ali breakups. writes really aggressive, angry songs and nicely. You s <laughs> yeah, she writes them in a nice way. And you pour your heart and out about breakups. And I write, yeah, I do really nice so songs. <laughs> and so it kind of balances out nicely that yeah. way. Yeah, yeah nice. That's like exactly how that works. Yeah. <laughs> and the Saskatoon scene treating you well? Lots of coffee shops, like yeah. you said. And well, yeah. and people are really supportive, actually. Like, yeah. really, really supportive about getting, you know, like, just inviting us to places or, like, yeah. to play and people just being really supportive. Like, yeah. Jen Lane has been really um, helping mm -hmm. us out there and her husband. Um, Smoke John. killer Smoke John. Killer. Yeah. yeah. They've been really great for us. So. They're, they're uh, staples of Strip Down. They've yeah. both been on many times and just, uh, yeah. I can't say enough good about them. I have a story that takes too long to tell <laughs> properly, but I was hosting an event in December. We were uh, doing a big thing for the food bank. And Jen Lane, I just kind of off the cuff mentioned I have one favorite Christmas song. And through Facebook, I told her, like, oh, this is totally a Jen Lane song. It's 2,000 Miles by the Pretenders. Okay. And in a day and a half, she learned it and played it for me that night as, like, a Christmas present, which is, like, insane. <laughs> And that's my Jen Lane story. It didn't actually take <laughs> as long as I thought to tell. But uh, so, w would you say they're kind of like your mentors? Yeah, in kinda, a way, they've, yeah? Been, they've been really, um, just really helping us to kind of branch out and do mm. try different things and yeah. stuff. I think they saw us one of the first nights we actually played together. Yeah. It was pretty rough. <laughs> it was really rough. <laughs> but it turned out all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're like, you guys should keep doing it. And then they just kind of kept going from there. So. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Big yeah. shout out to Jen Lane and John Smoke Killer. So there we go. You never know where you're going on the show, see? That's right. It's the best part about having that much information about a band. That's right. You're just going to have to uh, <laughs> go and see where the tide takes you. Speaking of that, let's jump into another song. Song uh, number of, four yeah, before yeah, our uh, second commercial break. Speaking of tides, yeah, this next one is go. called Dry Tide. Dry Tide? There you go. All right, and yeah, I'll let you adjust the microphone again that I just consistently break. That's all right. Yeah, I, I, you, you think it's going to swivel, but it just doesn't. It doesn't want to do it. All right, take it away, you guys. Straight up. 
You're watching the first strip down of 2011. The band is Mike and Allie, and we have to gear up for our <laughs> second commercial break. But stick around, we're only half done. We got lots more music from this duo slash quartet coming up right after this. Big, he's bold, he's a polar bear. And as much as we wouldn't want to run into him face to face, we also wouldn't want to see anything threaten his existence. Hard to believe an animal this big needs our help. But even though the polar bears live far away in the remote Arctic, we are having a negative impact on their lives. Our pollutants travel the oceans and atmosphere and enter their food chain. Plus climate change is causing the ice they live on to melt earlier each spring. This makes it more difficult for the bears to catch their prey. If you're wondering how you can help, simple things like riding your bike, walking, or taking the bus instead of driving will do a lot for our environment and the polar bears. But that's just a start. If you go to hww.ca, you can learn more about polar bears and find ideas on how to help protect Canada's wildlife. That's hww.ca. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Mother's Music. Six seventeen Eighth Street East, Saskatoon, on the web at mothersmusic.com. Altimo Euromoto. Two hundred four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon. Six six four sixty six forty. tap water comes from? It can come from one of two sources, groundwater or surface water. Surface water often begins as snowfall that accumulates in the winter and melts into our rivers and lakes. Cities will treat it to get rid of most of the impurities and then send it down the pipes, under the streets, and into our homes. The problem is, the quality of water is being damaged by our activities, and as our earth warms up, there may be less water available in the future. How can we look after our water resources? Find out where your water comes from and how it is being protected. Use less when you're showering, brushing your teeth, or watering your lawn. And never pour toxins like cleaning solutions down a toilet, sink, or storm drain as it ends up in our rivers and lakes. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, Mike and Allie.
Strip down with Mike and Allie. All right, here we go. We'll try this again. Whoa. All right. I'm batting 500. That's the first time <laughs> I've ever used a sports analogy. I don't know if I've uh, used that correctly or not. Uh, the one thing we didn't talk about of information you gave me on your website, uh, hometown, Saskatoon. Right. Current location, Saskatoon. Yeah. So both uh, born and raised here in Saskatoon. No. Actually, no. Allie's not. No. I'm from I am. I am. <laughs> from PA. I'm from PA, yeah. I could almost slide this on to a, a PA <laughs> episode tonight. Because we oh. are, of course, on Shaw TV in Prince Albert. Do you want to give some shout-outs? I love when people that aren't from Saskatoon are on the show. Because it's like, it, it, it just closes the province and brings us all together. <laughs> Anybody you want to say hi to out in PA? Because they're watching. Mom and Dad. Oh, nice. <laughs> so you moved to the big city then? I did, yeah, for school. For school? Yeah. And you stayed or are you currently in school? I, oh, well, I'm not in school right now. Okay. I, I've convocated, so I'm, oh, I'm done. Congratulations. Good. Thank you. All right. Thanks. And I know where you work, sir. Yeah. Because we do kind of this for the arts and entertainment, my other job. Not we do bad. that sometimes. That's the right. old Neewasson Center. Yeah. Seems like a perfect fit for you and what you're kind of into, as you told us before. Yeah. Seems yeah. like a really fun yeah. place to work, though. It is a very fun place yeah? to work, yeah. Probably Great lots of lots of songwriting going on during the day. It's all pretty mellow there and yeah, environmentally. Going on. Yeah, you always kind of get inspiration to just getting outside and yeah. taking people on tours and walking around. Do you, do you ever get to be Cran? That, have they ever tried <laughs> to put you in there? You're a pretty big dude we, to be Cran. But Cran is Cran. Well, Cran is real. Cran all is, right. He lives Source in five. the River just, Valley. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. And he comes out at night only when you've been bad. Okay. <laughs> The other thing on the uh, website, I'm seriously, this is all, everything, <laughs> top to bottom. The last thing is where you guys play. And uh, 26th, mm -hmm. the Spadina Freehouse. Yes. Uh, a fun one. Yeah? yeah. We're really what excited do people, for this. What could people expect should they take in a Mike and Allie show? What are they, they going to get? Expecting? They're expecting acoustic for real. Acoustics <laughs> for real. Yeah. Full circle. Yeah. No, yeah. I think we like to um, kind of like... People are welcome to talk or, or have a drink mm -hmm. or whatever when we're playing, but it's mm -hmm. also like we really like to engage, you know, mm -hmm. the audience and like Ooh, it's kind of banter. Like, yeah, 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 I think so. <laughs> yeah. A lot of storytelling too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and I think yeah. I like the and idea. If people that don't pay attention, you'll call up Smoke Killer and he'll come. Because <laughs> because John's like he's like, big guy. he's like seven feet tall. Yeah. Yeah. Do you bring the other two members? Is kind of how I was originally going to go with that question. Mm -hmm. Or is it just the two of you? Like when you play, does it vary? It depends it, on the venue. Yeah. 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 Depending, we try and mix it up as much as we can. Um, depending on the show and, and things like that and how much space there is in the venue. Yeah, yeah and how much yeah. time we have too, right? Because it's easier to coordinate two people's schedules. Yeah. 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 <laughs> a lot easier. For the free house, there might be a mix of what you hear tonight. So nice. Be fun. We, we yeah. talked before about how we were going to mention the old band, you yeah. the drummer. Wanna, right. You want to take us down that path? Was it like a heavy metal? No, it was actually <laughs> acoustic rock. So a okay. few of the songs you heard, like This Life and Dry Tide. And actually the next one, are uh, ones that we recorded with uh, the old band, Something Drift. So okay. Something Drift, yeah. Well, it seems like you're uh, you're kind of taking the show uh, by the reins yourself and throwing it to another song. So I'll just go with you. This is great. I love cool. when people do my job. All so right, it sounds so good. Uh, the next song again. You did a great job of queuing it up. Perfect. This next one is called Downtown. Downtown. Yeah. All right, guys.
We have to gear up for our last commercial break here on the first episode of Strip Down in 2011. And when we come back, we're going to give a proper shout out to Shaw TV's own in house sports reporter. Look at him, this footage up on the screen. Maddie Prefontaine, what a cutie. We got a shout out to Matt as well as we wrap things up with Mike and Allie coming up right after this. Listen. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Mother's Music. Six Seventeen Eighth Street East, Saskatoon, on the web at mothersmusic.com. Altimo Euromoto. Two O Four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon. Six Six Four Sixty Six Forty. two sources, groundwater or surface water. Surface water often begins as snowfall that accumulates in the winter and melts into our rivers and lakes. Cities will treat it to get rid of most of the impurities and then send it down the pipes, under the streets and into our homes. The problem is, the quality of water is being damaged by our activities and as our earth warms up, there may be less water available in the future. How can we look after our water resources? Find out where your water comes from and how it is being protected. Use less when you're showering, brushing your teeth, or watering your lawn. And never pour toxins like cleaning solutions down a toilet, sink, or storm drain as it ends up in our rivers and lakes. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? back we're wrapping things up with Mike and Allie here in the Shaw TV studio again this is the first episode of 2011 it still sounds weird uh, saying it but mm -hmm. thanks for coming on did you guys have fun yeah we, have we got so a couple songs left yep yep, yep. Uh, again I want to give a quick shout out to a good uh, friend and co-worker of mine Mr. Matthew Prefontaine over the uh, Christmas break I actually got to hang out with him and his girlfriend uh, Amber it was good times and he was instrumental in bringing you guys on the show Again, I listen to all the volunteers and the co-workers when they give me uh, band names and groups that should come on the show. And it's funny because I had a big list that uh, uh, co-worker Amanda gave me, and you guys were on that list too. So it was like, yeah. just comes right together. So uh, yeah, big shout out to uh, Matthew Prefontaine and Amber watching at home on the couch. Hey guys, thanks for making this happen. And now, to kick off 2011, we've never, I think we've done this once before. We got a really special treat for the viewers. We're gonna bring out for the next song, some dancers. Come on in.
This may seem like awkward dead air, but here's what's going on. Right now, Matthew Prefontaine, Shaw's own Matthew Prefontaine, has turned and asked his girlfriend, Amber Peterson, to marry him. So we are just awaiting the call. This is like interactive strip down. This is a Shaw TV first, a strip down first, probably a Saskatchewan TV first. So we're just uh, waiting to get the call from Matthew to hear whether it went good or bad, but this is the fun of TV. Hey! Maddie P? She said yes! Wow, I'm getting all misty-eyed in here. Matthew <laughs> Prefontaine, congratulations once again on behalf of everybody here at Strip Down at Shock TV and, of course, everyone watching on Access Communications. Wow, that was a, that's a big way to kick off uh, 2011. Yeah. Thanks for making this all uh, come together. Yeah, I'm, guessing, no I'm guessing she was pretty surprised. What a cool moment. Yeah, very All nice. right, we're part of history. Did you guys have fun tonight? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, so much fun, yeah. We, uh, we got one song left. Everybody, yeah, thumbs up. Good times. For more information on the Mike and Owie, go to Facebook, basically. Go to Facebook. Facebook yeah. You can check out our MySpace, Mike and Owie Music. Yep. MySpace.com yeah. slash Mike and Owie Music. And uh, these other two, they have solo projects. Thumbs up, thumbs down. No. Yeah. Got to gotta follow you yeah. guys around if you want to yeah. see the other two. So right. Devin's got a solo project on the go, too. What's yeah. Devin's solo project? <laughs> okay, he's recording. An he's album. Recording. recording. Album. Which we are doing as well. So yes. We're helping him. Yeah. You guys have an album out yet? We missed that. The whole whole episode. <laughs> Do you have an album currently out, currently working on real quick as we, we wrap this up? We are recording it right now. All right. Yeah. Next chance to see you, the 26th, the Freehouse. That's right. Sounds like good times. All right. Anything we missed? Any other uh, information before we wrap this up? First show of 2011 with Mike and Allie? No. Nothing? Well, I think we're good. Say something profound. Welcome to the Treehouse. <laughs> And this is Acoustic For Real. I had so much fun. Thanks uh, to our sponsors, Ultimo Yurimoto and uh, Mother's Music. There it is, first show of 2011. For all the Strip Down information, go to uh, Facebook, Strip Down. We're on there. Like it. We love it when we get lots of likes. Our likes are growing and growing and growing. Just like the viewership for Strip Down. There we go. Fun night, man. Uh, kind of interactive marriage proposal once again. Huge congrats to uh, Maddie and Amber. And let's wrap things up. Last song of the night. The Goldfish Song. From Mike and Allie. Thanks, you guys. Thank you.
Can we actually hear what he's saying though? So I can you articulate. Say 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 things like say something like I'm having that dream again, Grandpa. It's kind of hard to make that out what you're saying. Yeah, the vote in control room is we can't really understand what he's saying. Good try though. Ha, 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 ha.